In our last video, we discussed about distributivity of multiplication or addition of rational numbers. The video link for that lecture you'll find in the description box below. Do watch it. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss distributivity of multiplication or subtraction of rational numbers. Okay, so we are done with addition, but now it's time for subtraction. It means that if you have three rational numbers, let's say you have we have three rational numbers a, b, and c. Okay, if we have three rational numbers, then distributivity of multiplication or subtraction of rational numbers says that a times b minus c is equal to a times b minus a times c. That is in this case, what we are doing is first we are finding, we will find the subtraction of b minus c, right? The difference of b minus c, whatever the result will come, whatever the result comes, we multiply this result with a. So the value found by using this method or uh, step is actually equal to a times b, that is first multiply a with b. And then minus this minus sign you keep here, then you have to multiply a times c. This is what the distributivity of multiplication or subtraction of rational numbers is. Now this property is not only true for rational numbers, it is true for whole numbers and integers as well. So now quickly let's uh, revise for whole numbers because we have already discussed all these things when we're learning about whole numbers and integers. Let's say our a is or whole number A is 5, B is 9 and C is let's say 4. Okay, so let's find A times B minus C. A times B minus C means 5 times 9 minus 4. This is 5 times 5. This equals to 25. Now a times b minus a times c. This is 5 times 9 minus 5 times 4. 45 minus 20, you get 25. Right? So clearly this 25 and this 25, we are getting the same result. Either you follow this path pattern or this way. Same thing is true for rational numbers also. Let's uh, quickly take an example. An example. Let's say our rational number is a is uh, let's say seven or twenty one. B is nine or uh, what say nine or or let's say the number. Let's say this is eight or nine and C is 11 or uh, 3, okay? Now, first let's do for A times B minus C. For A times B minus C, A times B minus C, we have A as 7 or 21 times B is 8 or 9 minus C is 11 or 3. So we get 7 over 21 now times here we have we have to perform subtraction of two rational numbers. Clearly the first step will always be to take the LCM of 9 and 3 because the denominators are different. Right? So the LCM of 9 and 3 will be 9. So in this case the denominator is already 9 so simply write 9 here and this will be 8 minus in this case, if we want our denominator to be 9, then write 9 here. Divide 9 with 3, we get 3 as a quotient. So this is 11 times 3, right? So this is 7 over 21 times. Now this becomes 9 in the denominator because now the denominators are the same. 8 minus, this is 11 times 3 is what? 33. Okay, so you get 7 times 21 
times 8 minus 33 is what? Minus 25 times 9. Now we have to multiply two rational numbers, so it's easy. 7 times minus 25 means that we are multiplying a positive number with a negative number, so negative sign will be there. 7 times 25 is what? 7 times 5 is 35. 3, 175 divided by 9, 189. So this is our number, the result when we perform A times B minus C. Now let's perform, now let's perform A times B minus A times C. What's A? A is 7 over 21 times what's b b is 8 over 9 minus what's a a is 7 over 21 what's c c is 11 over 3 so from this we get 8 times 7 is 56 9 and 189 minus 7 times 11 is 77 and 21 times 3 is 63. Now here we have to subtract 77 over 63 from 56 over 189. Now clearly these two are rational numbers are having uh, different denominators. So the first step will be to take the LCM. So the LCM of LCM of 189 and 63 will be 63 will be 189 right so this rational number already has its denominator as 189 so simply write here 189 okay and this will be 56 minus if we want this denominator to be 189 then write 189 first divide 189 by 63 you get 3 as a quotient so this becomes 77 times 3. From here you get 56 divided by 189 minus 77 times 3 is 3 times 7 is 21 to 231 divided by 189. We get now the denominators are the same so simply write here 189 56 minus 231. If you solve it, you get minus 175 or 189. The same result here, the same result is here. Hence, proof that distributivity of multiplication or subtraction of rational numbers gets satisfied what we have followed here.